Morning HPC, uh, hello and welcome to the next of our daily reflect reflections. If you haven't yet read the book, uh, do pause this uh, and read David Mathis and then come back to it. It's interesting, isn't it, that given all that has been written about Jesus, all the films that have been made about him, uh, all the books there are, actually we don't know very much about Jesus's early adulthood, his teenage years, even his childhood is pretty much unknown to us. Jesus says he came to bring glory to his father by seeking and saving the lost. And that's what we get in the Gospels. Matthew, Mark, Luke and John, they tell us the how and the why and the when of his mission to save sinners. We have in the Bible all we need to know about Jesus. And the fact that there is so little in the Bible about Jesus between the ages of 12 and 30, Mathis says, is so that we might know that living an ordinary life, doing a regular job, uh, being a decent member of your local community is something that has dignity, something that should be held in esteem by Christians, because Jesus was happy to do it. We don't need to be celebrities. We can and should be just decent, ordinary members of society because Jesus was happy to do that. That said, my wife often likes to say there's no fat on the Bible. There are no fillers, no waffle, no unnecessary detail. Every verse is there because the Lord thought we need to know that about him because it tells us something about Jesus. And so we come to verses 40 and 52 of Luke chapter 2. Let me read them to you. The child grew and became strong, filled with wisdom, and the favour of the Lord was upon him. Jesus increased in wisdom and stature and in favour with God and man. They tell us Jesus grew, he matured, he learnt stuff. That according to his human nature, he developed. And these are helpful reminders that he was truly and genuinely and totally human. As one of the carols puts it, cares and smiles like us he knew. Jesus isn't interested in our joys and our despairs like a, a, a scientist is in studying the human condition. He doesn't sort of take a prayer that you've prayed and go, oh, fascinating. Uh, oh, this is a prayer about the pain this, um, this uh, Rory is feeling over the illness that... Uh, um, someone he loves going through. Oh, well, I'll just sort of pop that onto a microscope slide and I'll, I'll put it in. I will, I will study that to understand more about Rory. No, he's, he's experienced that pain. He knows it. He feels it. And so when we come to him in prayer, he gets it. He gets us. I sometimes find it helpful to use verse 52 as a as a template for thinking about how have I helped my children today um, it's as if I as if they have four different buckets if you like uh, and just as we're told Jesus grew in those four different areas I like to think have I have I put anything into those buckets today so we're told Jesus increased in wisdom. I like to think of my children having a having a bucket marked wisdom. And, and the Bible talks about wisdom in a number of different ways, not least fearing the Lord. But I want to think to myself, have I today put anything into my children's bucket? Have I read to them from the scriptures? Have I spoken to them about Jesus? Have I shown by my example or by my words how the wise live in God's world. Jesus increased in stature. That's another bucket. Um, have I deposited anything in there today? Uh, I hope that they will have had food. I hope they will have been encouraged to exercise. I hope they will have seen uh, me and their mum exercising restraint when it comes to food, being generous with others. Have, have they been encouraged to develop physically? Jesus increased in favour with God. Have I 
deposited anything in their bucket which is entitled favour with God? Have I prayed for them that they might know the favour of our Lord God today? If not, why not? And we're told Jesus increased in favour with man. Have I encouraged healthy, gracious social interaction between them and others? Have I told them not to speak about their sibling like that? Have I encouraged gracious manners and attitude towards others? We're told that's the normal healthy development of someone because we see that's the normal healthy development of our Lord Jesus. I don't think it's the only thing that that verse is supposed to teach us, but it's helpful for me. I wonder if it might be helpful for you in terms of thinking of children or grandchildren today. Have a really good day, HPC.